I don't know. I need to take my meds. <laughs> um, which is associated with the devil. Today has been a long day. Good morning. Enjoy the pleasant sound of my voice over my cat screaming and my dog chomping on his food. <laughs> Teddy! Come here! Come here! Come here, you baby animal. Oh, hello. It's okay. Honey. I know. I am getting ready to head to work in my Scooby-Doo sweater. And it a little bit shrunk in the wash. These sleeves don't go down to my wrists anymore. So that's annoying. Did you enjoy your pictures? I have a big project that I'm working on and I'm nervous that I'm not gonna, <sighs> I'm not gonna make a good design because I feel like everything I do sucks. But I know something that will make us feel better. Let's actually make a breakfast and a lunch to take to work so that we have a good healthy day. And don't worry, I'll keep a running tally on the jokes that are said about my Scooby-Doo sweater because all these old men think they have jokes. Now let's make some eggs and asparagus. And I know what you're thinking, isn't that what you ate in the Adele video? Yeah, because I have leftovers. <laughs> Damn, son. Dougie, you stop it right now with your talons. You need to clip those. You could come with me. There's no rules. You need a clearance though. You need a clearance. You need a security clearance. In the bed. Okay, let's, I'm really procrastinating. Let's get this day started. I don't know, this whole beginning of this video is chaos. So while the egg is doing its thing, we're gonna make a salad to take for lunch. The problem is I don't have any Tupperwares to my name currently because my grand master plan for Thanksgiving was like, I'm gonna make like this indulgent meal, right? And by the way, it turned out pretty good. Um, besides the fact that I didn't time anything correctly and literally everything was cold. <laughs> besides that, like I cooked this super indulgent, like tons of butter, tons of salt, like just no holds barred. And my grand master plan was to send all the leftovers home with everybody else so that I didn't have to, um... hold on, I think I'm burning my asparagus. Oh my God. And if you're wondering how I just touched the molten hot skillet, I have like no nerve endings. Anyway, so my grandmaster plan for Thanksgiving was to cook the food and to send the food home with everybody else. And that meant lending my Tupperwares to everybody else. So all I have to pack my lunch is these two jars. And I'm trying to figure out the logistics of it, but. Oh my God, I've been squatching down there for a long time. I don't know, I need to take my meds. <laughs> B-roll, B-roll, roll the B-roll. Do you hear the sound that this bag makes when I walk? I sound suspicious. My boy, you wanna go buy milk boom? Gentle baby. Good boy. <laughs> He's sick of my shit. <laughs> Okay, wish me luck that I get this project done today so I could just stop worrying about it. I will catch you on the flippity floppity. Bye. Good morning. I feel like I'm gonna be saying that a lot in this vlog. I just came home yesterday and I did not feel like vlogging. I did do good. I went to the grocery store. I got some stuff to make chicken fajitas. I did a 35 minute workout and burned 300 calories. And then I made chicken fajitas and I was like, damn girl, you're on it. But I didn't record any of it. So it's like it never even happened. That's okay, I know. But yeah, this whole week I've been working more in office than at home. And it's just a little bit more chaotic. And plus I'm like really stressed out about this project that I'm working on because I feel like everything I'm designing is absolute garbage. Garbage. And not to mention before I went home yesterday, my computer crashed and I didn't turn it back on. I was just like, well, <laughs> I don't know. So I don't know if anything's saved or not. Usually the Adobe programs are pretty good about like saving your work. But honestly, if it's gone, I don't care because like I said, 
garbage. But that's what we're doing right now. I'm procrastinating in a parking lot drinking a venti green tea latte. It was supposed to be an Ariana Grande, but the universe decided I needed a big one and I didn't argue. I was like, I will take it. Thank you. So on a completely unrelated note, when I was in the drive-thru at Starbucks, the line was long as usual. I was sitting there and I was just looking around and I noticed on their drive-thru sign, there was a symbol that was written on it. And I was like, what does that mean? And it didn't look like normal graffiti. It was like a triangle and it had like a little cross underneath it. And I had heard about like homeless people or people who live these nomadic lifestyles leaving symbols behind to like warn other travelers if a place will give you a free meal, if a place is safe or dangerous to go or you know, like all of these different things. So I Googled it profusely like while I was sitting in this line. I did find the symbol and it's the alchemy symbol for sulfur, um, which is associated with the devil. So it wasn't something cool, like nomad symbols. It was uh, just the kids being satanic again. <laughs> but that's about as eventful as my morning's been. I'm going to stop procrastinating and head on into work. Never mind, I thought of something else to tell you, so we're going to procrastinate a little bit longer. I was planning on doing Vlogmas, but I definitely didn't start early enough. And I was like, okay, well, we could still make this work, like, if I do a video every day. I and mean, this was, like, the last week of December, you know, to kind of get ahead of it. Because the whole thing is, I have this idea for a Vlogmas intro. And, like, that's literally as far as I got with vlogmas I was like this is funny to me I don't know if it would be funny to anybody else but I'm like this would be funny I'm gonna do vlogmas just solely because I thought of like literally like 15 seconds worth of a joke so I would disrupt my whole entire December for this 15 second joke but the last week of November honestly just really sucked the day after Thanksgiving Chetty started like meowing and he was like hissing and the entire time I've had Chetty he has never hissed so I was like, what is his deal? You know, he was like yowling, but it wasn't the same as like what he normally does. Chetty's pretty vocal anyway. I mean, like when I start talking, he will meow because he wants attention or like he hears me talking and he wants to talk too. I don't know, but like this was different. It was like yowling. So I kind of just like watched him. And as the day went on, he got more and more lethargic. He was laying under my armchair and I was like kind of just trying to get his eyes to follow like the sounds. Like, you know, cats are super alert. So like if you snap like that, they'll like... Their eyes will look. Their ears will perk up toward where the sound is. And he was like not responsive at all. So I called my vet and I was like, hey, this is what my cat's doing, like all this stuff. He gets super anxious when I put him in the car. So I wanted to make sure that he wasn't just like <sighs> nauseous or something. And then I told her that his gums were really white. And she's like, take him in immediately. Take him to the animal hospital. So I like raced across town with him. And I knew he was so sick because normally when I put him in the carrier and put him in the car, he is screaming. He hates going on car rides. He hates being in the carrier. He likes being a free bitch. But he was just quiet and he was just like sitting there in the carrier and I was like really scared. Got him in the animal emergency room right away and it turns out that he had a urinary blockage, which I guess is something that's really common with male cats just because their urethra is so small, I guess, and it doesn't really happen with female cats because they have a wider pee tube I don't know but like his bladder was just filling with urine and he couldn't relieve himself he had to be in the animal hospital for three days they had to drain his bladder with like this giant needle he had an IV um that's why you'll see his fur like all around his wrist is just gone because they had to shave it he had an IV he had to have a catheter and they stitched the catheter on him so he wouldn't like pull it out and stuff and then I was like oh They've been monitoring him very closely and I'm so thankful because like they did a really good job. They took very good care of him. And at the end of three days he got to come home and I've been giving him medicine every 12 hours. And I don't know if you've ever tried to give a cat a pill but it is not fun. Because I tried putting it in cheese and just have him like eat it unbeknownst to him. He's not like super food driven. He's not Douglas. So the cheese didn't work and so I just had to kind of put it in the back of his throat and like hold his mouth closed so he would like swallow it and not spit it out oh my god it was just so stressful and I'm super concerned that Chetty's just gonna hate me at the end of this luckily last night was his last pill um that he had to take and now the rest is just liquid medicine but it's just like he hates that too it does smell pretty gross not gonna lie. I don't know what to do. I'm doing the best I can. But yeah, so I've been really preoccupied making sure Chetty's okay. So I didn't end up getting a head start on Vlogmas or anything, but he's doing really well now. I mean, he's really irritated because I usually let him go out in the backyard and I haven't so far so I could monitor his urine output. So he like solely goes to the bathroom in the cat box. So he's been pretty upset with me over that as well. <laughs> but yeah, so everything's okay there other than Chetty hating me. <laughs> but I feel like he'll be fine eventually hopefully okay i am out of work i'm testing to see what this low light setting looks like i think it looks like shit 
<laughs> Ooh. I am home. I changed into some leisure clothes. We're gonna get a workout going in a while, but I feel like I should probably eat something first because I'm pretty hungry and I have to charge my Apple Watch anyway. Probably the absolute worst thing about where I work is it's like the Bermuda Triangle because there's no communication to the outside world. Like you're in there and you can't bring your phone. I can't bring an Apple Watch. I don't have access to my personal email. It's like completely just going off the grid. But when I get off, I'm just hit with like a day's worth of emails and messages and all of these things I need to respond to and plan and it's just a little and I have animals screaming <laughs> and it's just a little bit overwhelming and everything needs my attention in real life. I think today I'm gonna go for the udon noodle bowls with peanut sauce because that looks really delicious to me. I don't know if they'd go for it, but I think Green Chef's motto should be, even if your life is a complete garbage fire, you can still make fancy meals at home. Okay, I'm just gonna need you to ignore this eye because I thoroughly rubbed it, I guess, and I've been trying to like fix it to be presentable and it's just not. It's just not working. I did not work out and the time is now nine o'clock. For the past two hours, I've been looking for Chetty. I usually let him go outside in the backyard, but I haven't for like this past almost week. And that's why he's been screaming so much because he wants to go out. I opened up my sliding door to let Douglas out and Chetty just like zipped out. And I typically have my screen door shut, but Douglas had barreled through it at one point. So the bottom is like... It's just like a flap. Anyway, so Chetty zips out and Douglas has like the zoomies and he's like super excited. So I hear, I hear Douglas, I can't see it, but I hear Douglas like, it sounds like Douglas is chasing Chetty. Like it sounds like a scuffle. And my screen door is like hard to get open. It gets stuck. So I'm like sitting there trying to like pry it open because Chetty's not supposed to be outside. I finally get it open. Chetty's nowhere in sight. I go all around calling him. I come back in the house. I get my phone to use the flashlight. I'm out there in the dark and I'm afraid of the dark and Chetty's nowhere to be seen. So I've been like sitting here waiting for Chetty to come back. I think he's ran away forever because he hates me because I've been giving him this medicine um, and not letting him go outside. So I was like, he is never coming back. So I'm like going out there like every 15 minutes to see if I can hear him. I go out in the front yard. Uh, I'm like calling his name. I'm shaking bags of chips like an animal. My neighbors are probably like, that lady is crazy. I don't care. I'm trying to get my cat back. So I'm just sitting on the couch and I'm like kind of panicking. <laughs> I don't know where he went, but then he just showed up. He started meowing at the back door and then now he's, he's right there. So that's good news, but yeah, didn't work out. Chetty usually comes to his name better than Doug, but he was just like, hell no, you haven't let me out in days. Today has been a long day. We'll just work out in the morning. Thank you for coming back, Chelly. I thought you hated me forever. I think you were in a tree. You know why? Evidence. Evidence in the form of this leaf. Okay, that was a really good workout. I burned almost 400 calories. The bun had a blowout, literally dripping sweat. So I think that I did pretty good. Okay, I forgot to mention this morning that I did weigh in before I worked out. I was just dead to the world when I did so. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop that on the screen right now. I think 
I lost like one point something pounds. I'll have to go back and do the maths a little bit later. But right now I'm gonna head into work and finish this project. So that will be a huge weight off my shoulders. And hopefully we could get back into some kind of flow of stuff because over the holiday season, luckily is when my work kind of slows down a little bit. So hopefully things will be a little bit less chaotic. Quick outfit of the day. I am wearing this shiny green shirt with this purple cardigan and it gives me little mermaid vibes. And I'm here for it. I don't know if anybody else gets those vibes, but it's what it reminds me of. But other than that, I think I'm just going to end the vlog here. I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to subscribe and hit that notification bell, all of those things really help out the channel. And as always, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!